Congratulations, you're at the final stage of your IVF treatment, the Embryo Transfer. Want to know what to expect? Then subscribe to my channel and keep watching. I am Dr. Marachi Jama. I'm a fertility physician, and this channel focuses on everything in fertility and women's health. So if you want more content like this, keep watching, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn on the notification bell below. On the day of your appointment, you'll be told to continue all your medications. You'll also be told no makeup, no nail polish, no perfumes. At the clinic, you will be advised to drink water 30 minutes to one hour before your procedure. This is because we need your bladder to be full so that we can better visualize your womb. Unlike the egg retrieval where we want you to pee, we want you to urinate just before you enter the theater. This is the opposite. We need your bladder to be full so we can better visualize your womb on the ultrasound scan. Just before your transfer, you'll be invited into the embryology lab so you can view your embryos on a monitor. So this is what your embryologist sees under a microscope. It will be magnified on a lens, to be magnified on a monitor, and you'll be able to see your embryos. At this point, the couple is showed the embryos and told what grade each embryo is. And then the couple is allowed to choose which embryos to transfer. In Nigeria, you can choose up to three embryos, but no more than three. In some other countries like the UK, US, it's limited to one embryo or two. During the transfer, you'll be told to lie on your back and your legs will be hanging on leg support. Then your vulva will be cleaned and a speculum, which is an instrument passed in through your vagina to visualize your cervix. So for us and you to see what we are doing on the ultrasound scan, we use an abdominal probe we place it on your lower belly so we can view it on an ultrasound scan machine. You would actually be seeing the procedure and will be able to appreciate the procedure. Yes, yeah, so obviously your vulva would have been cleaned before the speculum was passed. Then after the speculum is passed, your cervical canal will also be cleaned with fluid. Next, a plastic, thin, flexible tube called a catheter will be placed inside your womb through your vagina and your cervix inside your womb. This is usually done by your doctor. And while this tube is being placed inside your womb by your doctor, something else is going on in the lab. Your embryologist is taking out the dish that contains your embryo from the incubator, then loading the embryo or embryos inside an even thinner tube. So he will load the embryos with fluid as well. This fluid is called the transfer media. Then he will also add a few air bubbles. I will tell you later on in this video, why he added the air bubbles. Then when the doctor in the theater is all set, she will signal to the embryologist to bring the loaded tube. The doctor will then collect the loaded tube from the embryologist, then advance it inside the center of the other tube that is already placed in the, in the womb, advance it inside the center of that one and places the embryos inside the womb. Remember the embryologist tube is thinner, so it enters through the center of the one already placed inside your womb and then with one plunge, your embryos are placed in your womb. Then remember the air bubbles that the embryologist added to the inner tube. That is what you see on the ultrasound scan. So because the embryos are too small for you to see on the ultrasound scan, what you see when the doctor places the embryos inside your womb is actually the air bubbles. So on the scan, you'll see a whitish movement that shows that the embryos has been placed inside your womb. Then the thinner tube, that is the inner tube, will be removed by the physician and handed to the embryologist to take back to his lab to check under a microscope to see if the embryo or embryos are left in the tube, depending on how many embryos were loaded in the first place. Once the embryologist confirms all clear, like my embryologist usually does, then that is the end of the procedure. The doctor will then remove the outer tube followed by the speculum, and then you'll be told to go back to the ward, and at this point, you can urinate. Don't be scared to urinate immediately after an embryo transfer. Your embryo will not fall off, trust me. You'll be told to continue your medications, rest a little bit, then go home and continue your normal activities, provided there were nothing excessively strenuous. You will then be given an appointment to come back in the next two weeks for your pregnancy test. Embryo transfer usually lasts about five to 10 minutes and it is completely pain-free. It is painless. Hence the fact that I was buttressing on the fact that the tubes, the catheters are flexible, plastic, thin tubes, really. 
it's not painful there's nothing painful about the procedure it's a really short procedure and then you're good to go if you're currently in this stage of your journey i wish you luck and i'm rooting for you i hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it informative see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe bro.